Well, good Friday morning. Thank you again. I am so privileged to have you as a listener and a viewer today. And I'll just keep you a few minutes here as I share a little bit about beautiful life. We live in a world of beauty. You know, God created this world. And back in the early days when he was speaking all of this into existence, at the close of each day, God took a good look at what he had made. And each day he saw that it was good. And I believe that God admired the beauty of his handiwork. And certainly the works of nature are beautiful. I love nature. I think about, uh, you know, the many different aspects of nature, not just the physical world that we live in, but all that is here in the world, all the plant life and animal life and, and the birds of the air and the fish of the sea and the cattle of the fields. I mean, everywhere we look, we see that all of God's creation is beautiful. I know a lot of it has been marred by man. Too bad that we come along and pollute the beautiful streams and litter the highways and the byways. And yet, in spite of a man's uh, inability to keep it in a pristine condition, yet the world is still a beautiful place, isn't it? And we surround ourselves with things of beauty. We like to build beautiful homes and furnish them with beautiful furnishings. Uh, we like to buy beautiful automobiles. You know, uh, I don't have a beautiful automobile right now, unless you call a little white 99 Villager uh, uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful car. Uh, I don't think that it's beautiful at all. It's just quite common, but it gets me from point A to point B. And that's all that really matters to me. But generally speaking, and if we had the resources, we would buy the most beautiful car that we could buy. We men, we like to marry beautiful women. And, and uh, oh, have I mentioned my grandchildren? I mean, my grandchildren are just absolutely beautiful. We live in a world of beauty, do we not? I could go on and on and on about all the beauty that we surround ourselves with, the beautiful artwork and sculptures and and uh, just beauty everywhere. But is there anything that can compare with a beautiful life? You know, God's masterpiece was mankind. He formed man from the dust of the earth. He breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and we became a living soul. And we know that uh, God created a, a beautiful image. He created in his image. Of course, he has no physical image, but yet... The image of, of holiness and righteousness is a beautiful image, and we know that uh, I, I believe that God made beautiful people, and uh, yet a beautiful life. How we admire someone, and even though they may not live in a beautiful home, they may not uh, drive a beautiful automobile, they may sit on very common-looking furniture, and yet their life is a beautiful life. And I'm thinking about what really makes a beautiful life. I know, first of all, it's a life that is totally surrendered to God. Have you ever seen the countenance of that person whose life is totally given over to God? Have you ever noticed the characteristics of that person who is at peace with God, thus being at peace with others, and his very countenance has a, uh, his very countenance has a radiance that is one of beauty. And then I think not only a beautiful countenance, a life surrendered to God, but I think that a person that is living a life of unselfishness, in other words, a life that is reaching out to others to be a blessing, is a beautiful life. There are many people that I know that put their own interests aside. They uh, make sacrifices. They do not follow their own pursuits because they strive to be a blessing to others. And that person that is constantly seeking out ways to touch the, uh, another's life in a positive way, to me they are a beautiful person. Well, I can go on and on, but I promise just a few minutes here. But aren't you glad you know some people whose life is totally surrendered to God? and whose life is given over to being a blessing to others, that is a beautiful life. That life is one to be admired. I believe that it's one to be praised and bring glory to God. Heavenly Father, thank you for the beauty that surrounds us, and thank you for those beautiful people that are in our lives today. 
those, Lord, whose hearts and lives have been surrendered to God and to His will, and those that are striving to be a blessing to others in this cold, hard world. Help us, each one, to strive to be that beautiful person. May our life be one that is admired and that is a blessing and that is useful because of our beauty. Bless us throughout this Friday, Lord, and make us a blessing wherever we go. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I plan to see you tomorrow, which is Saturday, on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.